Using a stationary bike can be healthy but very boring. So in this video I'm going to show you how to spice it up a little bit using Google Maps and a couple of the components. To do this project you're going to need to gather a few parts. First you'll need a USB keypad that has arrow keys. Next you'll need a magnetic window or door alarm and you'll need to make sure that it has wires instead of wireless. Then you'll need some soldering equipment and lastly you'll need an exercise bike and a laptop. The premise behind how this works is pretty simple. The magnetic alarm runs off of a reed switch that connects every time a magnet is near it. So if we connect this switch to the up arrow key on the keypad, then every time a magnet passes by, the switch will connect and the button will be pressed. To begin, open up the keypad until you see the circuit boards that comprise it. Find which circuits connect to trigger the up arrow key or key 8. Then connect the wires to it. Since there are a thousand different keypads available on the market, yours will not look exactly like mine. But in my case, I was able to find that circuits 4 and 3 connected when the up arrow key was pressed. So I traced those back to the main logic board and soldered the alarm wires to them. Once you have the wires connected to the button, put everything back together. You may need to cut some of the plastic casing in order to accommodate the extra wires that we added. Now plug the USB keypad into your computer and open up maps.google.com and make it full screen. Then you'll need to hit the num lock key on the keypad to turn off the number lock. Now whenever you pass a magnet by the alarm switch, the map should move forward. After you have it working properly, you want to attach the rig to an exercise bike. I duct taped the alarm switch to the front bike wheel and the magnet to the bike pedal. This is so that every time the pedal makes a rotation, it will trigger the alarm switch. Then run the wires up to the laptop, which should be placed somewhere in front of the bike. Now just hop on the bike and start pedaling and enjoy the scenery. If you want more information on this project, please visit the website that provided the inspiration for this video. Be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Facebook and Twitter. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.